The Miami Dolphins will open the preseason against the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field on Saturday and, as always in these games, the final score won't be nearly as important as the evaluation of the players and positional units. When it comes to players, there's a clear list of those really worth watching and we came up with 13 of them, not intentionally, but maybe as an ode to Dan Marino. Here's the list, in no particular order. QB Tua Tungavailoa, you didn't actually think we'd start with anybody else, did you? Let's be honest, nothing is more important for the Dolphins this summer than the development of their second quarterback and his stats against the Bears and the other preseason opponents won't matter nearly as much as how he runs the offense. W.R. Jalen Waddle, the game against the Bears might provide us with the first real glimpse of how the Dolphins plan to use their speedy first-round pick and what kind of immediate impact he can make for the offense. S. Javon Holland, the rookie second-round pick from Oregon has been a ball hawk in practice, no matter how much coach Brian Flores insists what matters is fundamentals, technique, alignment, assignments and communication. Holland definitely is in contention to land a starting job as a rookie and if he keeps making plays in the preseason he might make the decision easy for Dolphins coaches. L.B. Benardrick McKinney Now, we wouldn't expect McKinney, or any of the other veteran frontline players, to play a whole lot against the Bears, but the free agent acquisition has been so impressive against the run in practice, it's left us looking to see more in the preseason. C. Michael Dider the third-year player from Wisconsin has taken the snaps with the first-team offense pretty much the entire training camp, so it appears he'll be the starting center. He's also an important player when it comes to how well the offensive line can progress in 2021. L.B. Brennan Scarlett The book on Scarlett when he joined the Dolphins was that of a special teams standout with some pass-rushing ability. But he's shown more than just, some, pass rushing skills throughout camp and it's going to be interesting if he can keep that up in the preseason. W.R. Lynn Bowden Jr. This list includes a lot of players who have shined in camp, but Bowden is kind of the opposite in that he's had a very quiet camp so far after flashing really intriguing potential as a rookie in 2020. Bowden has been quiet enough, in fact, that it looks like he'll need a strong preseason to make the 53-man roster. Tay Seathan Carter Carter has been really impressive in practice as a receiver, which wasn't necessarily considered his forte when he arrived as a free agent in the offseason. Again, can he keep it up in the preseason? R-B-G-E-R-R-I-D Dokes. The rookie seventh-round pick has some running skills and physicality to his game, but he's really struggled at catching the ball. That has to change if he gets opportunities in the passing game against the Bears. W.R. Robert Foster. Foster appears to be in the thick of the race for one of the roster spots at wide receiver, but he's slowed down a bit after a torrid start to camp. This is his chance to build his momentum back up. L.B. Shaquem Griffin. He's on this list because Griffin is just a bundle of energy, and we're still waiting to get a firm grasp of what he could bring to the Dolphins' defense, assuming he makes the 53-man roster. C.B. Noah Igbenogany. There's really no need to explain this one. This is a key player for the Dolphins in the not-so-far future and the Dolphins would love to see some progress in his development. He had a pretty good week of practice against the Bears, and this is an opportunity to build on that work. G. Derval Kairaz Netu. Kairaz is just flat out a fascinating prospect because of his background, coming over from Brazil and now in his third season. The question here is what he actually will play against the Bears after sitting out practice Thursday. Whenever he does make his preseason debut, this definitely is a player to watch.